Students at universities have been practicing hazing for over 2,000 years. Hazing can include physical abuse, emotional abuse, practical jokes, forceful alcohol consumption, and many other humiliating and even dangerous tasks. Students believe that they have to haze other students in order for them to be accepted into a certain house or friend group. Hazing is most commonly seen in the Greek system. The fraternities and sororities have hazed their potential members. Students are hazed for many different reasons, but it doesn't but does that mean it's right? Hazing on college campuses specifically, but hazing in general needs to be put to an end. These are the most common types of hazing and the most common groups of people who do the hazing. And that will be my first body paragraph. These are the statistics of hazing. And that's going to be my second body paragraph. These are some of the worst hazing instances that have occurred on college campuses. And that's going to be my third body paragraph. And then here is my conclusion. Hazing has been found to be an issue for thousands of years. People know how bad it is, so why is it still acceptable? Students have been hurt physically and even emotionally from hazing. Hazing on college campuses needs to be put to an end. Students don't deserve to be treated with such disrespect. If hazing is put to an end, college for students is going to be a much better environment. Thank you.